<laughs> Thank you all for coming. I just I want to tell the photographers take pictures of the children because that's what it's all about. Um, I'm the only one speaking, but my husband is part of all the eyes. Every time I say I, it's we, and it's all of you. Okay, I know. I know what you're thinking. I know what the kids are wondering. So what does the sign say? Where's the sign? This is what the sign says to me. The sign says that Adam lives. Yesterday was his birthday. Eight years ago, he made John and I parents, us a family. Adam loved trains more than anything and his baby brother more than almost anybody. Adam always walked high up on his tippy toes, always loud with enthusiasm, blue eyes sparkling, never short for words or questions. He had my funny feet, my crooked eyebrows. He had John's perfectly straight feet. <laughs> he never got the chance to experience a wiggly one. Adam was always more interested in how a bicycle worked than riding it. He never got the chance to learn. The sign is here because the driver chose to look down instead of at the road. And it is all too commonplace. The sign is here because the driver sorry, never saw our car and impacted from behind at 55 miles per hour. Don was hurt and our Adam was killed and we were heartbroken. The sign is here because the driver never showed any remorse and I felt such disrespect. The sign is here because Adam was not recognized as a victim by the laws that govern and I was outraged. The sign is here because the law left us unable to speak for Adam in a court, and I was beyond frustrated. The sign is here because the driver got traffic tickets and kept his license, and I was in disbelief. How could this possibly be happening? In desperation, I reached out for advocacy groups and learned that distracted driving had affected many others. I became determined. It was then two years ago that I asked for a sign, like I had seen for drunk driving victims, to show respect for Adam's life and to remind drivers of the danger. But ours was not a case of DUI, and I was denied. They said their hands were tied by the laws. If I was unhappy, I should contact my representatives in Springfield. So I did. <laughs> <laughs> While many just shrugged their shoulders, I found representatives and some wonderful legal staff that knew how to listen. Yes, admits the corruption and the bankruptcy in our state government that you hear about, I found very caring, hardworking, dedicated people that you never hear about. And I was inspired. They gave me the privilege of speaking in Springfield in order to change the laws, and I was empowered. I am just a suburban mom who loves her children. I have never been political. I found myself believing that not only I could, but I should. I could and I should fight for driver accountability. We passed a law for that. And I can give the number. that I could and I should fight for a victim's voice. We have a bill for that on the governor's desk. And that I could and I should have a sign. And now I do. <laughs> Thanks to DuPage County Board, Mr. Kernan, DuPage County engineers take care to build safe roads. What the sign says for me is that we must take care to be safe drivers. This sign is a message of love, like from a parent to a child. My child died here. Everyone on the road is someone's child. Don't be a distracted driver, for the love of Adam. I don't know what I'm doing, because I have to thank people, I'm sorry, but I have to. Um, this is probably the more important part.
Um, thank you, Dan Cronin, DuPage County President. Um, <laughs> Bob Polar, DuPage County Doc. Um, Representative Tom Cross and his office, especially Andrew Freiheit. <laughs> thank you, Representative Emily McCasey. You are amazing. Thank you, Jim Dodge, for writing the amendment. Thank you, Senator Holmes and Christine and all the other sponsors. Thank you to the AIM, especially Lorraine Wozlowski. Thank you to the Crash Coalition. Greg is here, he's the president. He just had a baby boy, but he's here. He made his banner and he's terrific. Thank you to all my friends and family, all those with listening ears and big hearts. A special big thanks to my son, Eli, who now has Iron Man, Batman, and Buzz because mommy was inattentive. <laughs> You are my superhero. <laughs> <laughs> and a special big thanks to my husband, John, who has always supported me. All the many times I used the pronoun I in my remarks, it was really we. So go change those quotes. <laughs> this was a joint effort of love. Thank you for all your support. <laughs>